Red Ralph, a uh, Volkswagen Beetle 1303S, a uh, 73 year model. Um, it was first manufactured, I think it was October uh, 1972. Uh, Okay, so a few people have asked for interior shots, so I thought we'd do this little video instead. Okay, so people have asked for um, interior pictures, so I thought it'd be easy just to do this little video to show. So the headlining is pretty damn clean, to be fair. As is the interior in general. Um, okay, so the side plastics, there is a little crack in the side plastics on the seat but they're still there they obviously they're splitting you can see the horse here coming through some of the beading is gone but most of it is there now with the the floor mats the actual original floor mats this one piece that goes up over the central tunnel um, when we had it it was all falling apart so what we we've done we've backed it with uh, I think it's like a two mil rubber sheet that's all the way through to hold everything together so you've got these little areas that have worn away but you've still got the original mats there now in place and they should be good for a little while longer yet. Like I said, little bits have been lost along the way, but it's pretty damn good. I said you've got the Cami tunnel tray. 70s accessory and it is a genuine one. And the same this side, just pull that hat up. Original floor in. Like I said it's pretty good that side because it didn't get so much wear. The odd little split here and there but it's been backed with with the rubber so it should be good for a while yet. A little bit of carpet there had worn through from people's feet over the years so we managed to get something similar and just pop that in behind just to cover the hole to tidy it up but the side carpets everywhere like I said it's, it's pretty damn clean all around just get that out of the way okay so the Wolfsburg crest on the horn so we're just about to turn 87,700 um, We've got the booklet as well for the radio, that's all in with the original paperwork. So it doesn't, it doesn't work. Um, it switches on, but it, I don't know whether it's connected or not. We, I don't use it in the car. Um, so we've never really investigated. It could be just a fuse that's gone, but rather than rip it out and put something else in, we've just left it all original there. Like I said, you've got the, the visors, the old puffy visors, they all move freely, and are pretty damn clean. Okay. So we've just got no side pocket on the passenger side, side pocket on here. Okay. All neat and tidy. 
in here because this is what people are, are interested in. They're all fine. Pillows. Door shuts. Lovely. As it should. Water panels. Fence. Oh, good. The winder mechanism could is a little bit clunky on this side. The other passenger side runs smoothly, but this one is a little bit clunky, but just need somebody to take it all off. Didn't really want to take it off because there was no other reason to take it out. Um, to look at that. Let's put the seats. Okay, so again, the mats that run behind and up over the tunnel, you can see where they were broken and cracked and then we backed them with the, the rubber mat in to hold them all together again. I've got some pictures I can show of that, anyway, some stills. There are rear seat belts that we fit in aftermarket for the, the kids, so they've gone into the, the anchor points that were already there. the original sticker from the garage it was bought from Cooks we've got the original paper or cardboard rather um, sales hanger that would go over the, the rear view mirror when it was up for sale on the forecourt and that is from when the original owner Took it back and, and chopped it in against the Mark III Golf when they... so, There we go. was started up so it is one key fits everything um, there is another key so we've got the two keys just one key for, for all so there we go okay we'll go around the engine bay now and have a little look like I said the exhaust is is blowing there's no doubt about it the exhaust is blowing and it's doing with the new so what I forgot to do was open the door so the interior light works as it should. There we go. I tend to leave it off um, just to save the battery. Okay, so we'll go around and have a look. about the, the wing beading yes it is the original wooden beading um, it was color coded when it left the factory um, not all Volkswagen Beetles were 
colour coded with the wing beads when they left the factory. Well, not all cars and not all colours. Um, but if you look it up in, in the, the old um, sales brochures and all, you'll see that they did come with a colour coded beading. You can see where we've done some sympathetic re repairs to, to keep as much original paint and metal as possible. Yes, there is the odd little dink. You might be able to see where there was the stone chip guards there. There is a slight colour fade, but not much at all. Um, so we've got the beauty rings that were there from the dealers when it was first bought. Okay, it also had the optional extra of the mud flaps from the dealership. What we have done is replaced the, the rotten originals that hang on pretty well. Um, made templates and we, we've got some stainless steel ones made up to the same spec to take the original mud flaps. So the hazard box isn't included, that's mine. Um, so we've got the original bumpers, a little bit of the chrome starting to bubble a little bit. The bumper over, over rider strips. We were lucky to, to have the original number plates. The previous owner, when he bought it, um, it had the black and silver plates fitted, which is all documented when the other chap did that. But he did ask, did he have the original number plates? And thankfully he did. So we've got the original plates back on. There we go. So some of the original decals are still here. Also the port for where they used to plug it into the computer back in the day. We've got some of the cards um, in the service book that have been used for that, for the, the so-called printouts back then. So there's a few remnants of old, the old stickers. Okay, and like I said, he's never let me down. He's run really well. So what we did with the rear bumpers, oh well, with both bumpers, they were a little bit, a little bit of rust showing on the inside. So rather than take them back down and just grey primer them, have I done this with most, with my other Beatles? Um, they've all been treated, painted, and then we've got a bit of a, a splash pattern to tie in with the body colour, just to funk it up a bit. Okay, so. The original bumper irons with the towing hitch. Um, there are other pictures of these that will go up. I can't quite see it there now. Initial garage it was from in Peterborough. I think it was Borough Bury um, Garage. So we've got there's little paint right above the middle. Um, the rings, the wings were replaced at the same garage with uh, proper Volkswagen wings in '94. At that time, he had a top end rebuild on the engine, so they got leaded heads. So we've stone chipped, colour coded it all up underneath when we had it with uh, Raptor. So there's the stainless steel brackets again. Okay, uh, as we said, we've managed to save the wings by sympathetic restoration. Um, so you can see where we've just taken them back and put the Raptor on to save them rather than replacing them with all wings because they didn't need that, they were too good for them. So most of the bolts that have gone back in replacing the wings are stainless, stainless steel washers. Okay, yes, this rear quarter, low quarter have been replaced at some point. That's fine. Okay, so it's been blown in lower area there at some point. The odd little 
a little bit, but all the posts are ready. Okay. Winder is smooth as anything. Works like a dream. I said the driver's side is a bit clunky. It does work, but it's a bit clunky. Quarter vents. Lovely. Yeah. Okay, this channel all the way up this side was unfortunately rotten, so that's been cut out, replaced all the pitches are. See the mark there where it was marked out to be replaced. You said, and then we've got this Raptor, Raptor body seal that was colour coded then with the body colour. You said that's all been replaced. So new running boards. Okay, so the, what's that there? Okay, so we'll pop the, the seat. They're a bit slow in returning the seat belts, but they all work fine. Okay. So it really is a nice original honest car. That helps. The interior shots. Let's climb back in. Okay. So it drives nicely. I've never messed with these for the transfer of air or anything usually just use the side vents it clears very well let's see you've got the, the optional extra was the twin speed motor the cigarette lighter when it was first bought and we've got the, the glove box you can see it's still clean in there as well There we go. There's a couple in there, it's just the one in there. Good cap pillow. Or any for your indigestion, a spare pound, because you always need one. And that was from where we replaced one of the headlamp bulbs. Um, bowls sorry the headlamp bowl because that was rotten but we managed to replace that and save the wing again trying to save as much paint and as original parts as we can okay let's pop that let's have a look under the bonnet okay Super solid Cassan red. So I've, I've got orange on, so you can see it. People say, oh, it's orange, but it is it is a red. You see it against an orange, and it's definitely a red. Now, with the front of the car, not long after it was bought originally, it had a vinyl nose cone put on properly where they used to stick the vinyl on. When we got it, it was holding water because there was a few tears and stone chips, so we decided to take the chance and, and peel it off. That's why this bar is still in place, so it's all part of the, the history, part of the story. There's actually an aluminium strip underneath, 
that is pop riveted through but it doesn't leak and we was very lucky when we peeled it off um, just needed a, a quick tea cut to take the light scratches out but you can see there's not much color fade from the, the original covered up paint to the original paint above so the wings were replaced in 94, 93, 94 but apart from that the rest is original paint, original bumpers, original everything. Mark on Golf uh, squirter has been put in so you've got good squirty wipers um, but that's probably the only upgrade that the car's had. Let's take this rubber mat up, show the original card. Rings. Okay, so we'll just get up and see those pop rivets just up here where that plate was put on. Okay, you can see where it was glued underneath here. Out. There they are there, the originals. The spare wheel, which is a slightly heavier one, it's more of a solid board on the back. Okay, so they are there. Michelin XZX radio 165 SF 15s. I don't know whether I trust it now, but there we go. Cool, nice to have them. Said original number plates are back on. So, 
original 70s cami spoiler. This, I think it's this one that we replaced, can't remember, I'd have to double check. Um, but we managed to replace the headlight bowl itself. Managed to get the old one out because it was rotten and get a new one tacked in place so we could save the wing. Rather than having to replace the wing. You can see there's also synthetic repairs just to cover up the rust spots and save it, save as much paint as we could. where we replaced the, the rotten and rusty ball just down here you can make out the bright paint just there is the original paint the under seal is just starting to break down the original under seal and we color coded it with the raptor when we had the minor repairs done see there's a little plate there okay so all the wings were off like I said there's the original color coded beading Those are all good. Doors open and close as they should. Get those all nice. Okay, so it's quite a cloudy day today, so you still not getting the glare off the paintwork. There is also the cami, if you, if you look, you might be able to make up the, the fade line there where there was a black plastic cami spoiler. That comes with it, but you will need, need the seal. Um, if you're leaving it out in the weather, it might be worth putting it back on, but I'm guessing you're going to garage it. So it shouldn't be a problem. There we go. Let's go back up that gas in as well. Mm, yes, I don't know even. See, there are swirls in the paint where it's been polished over the years. But That's Red Ralph. Okay, like we said, it's not, not perfect. There are the odd 
dinks and dents here and there we talked about earlier um, but let's have a small original stickers and all there I've got the original um, petrol cap it's not lockable so that's why that one's there there was a little bit of, of rust around that area so it's just had a bit of amorite just to preserve it rather than ripping it all out and replacing just to keep the the best of it there Booklet that's in the pack that came with the car originally, so it's all about the radio. I believe it's the push button radio, and the fab thing about this we've got the garage stamp on the back, but also you've got this little beauty, which has still got the original sticky tape, the stereo tape that would have been used to stink, stick this to the blanking plate where the radio would be in the car. So that would be stuck in place, you just flip that up and there's the advertising details. So that's a nice little thing to have as well. And like I said, that's in with the service manuals, instruction manuals. So that's your instruction manual. Okay. A little bit of water damage, but nothing to worry about. Oh, there's the radios again. And also the service record book. Sorry, it's not easy with all that. So there we are, the name there, they've got the registration number. And Mr. Phipps, who was the original owner to have the car from you. Get over so it's been regular oil change services, uh, points and plugs and all of up until this time. I said they've been done well between these increments, probably every 1500 2000 miles, things have been done anyway. So it's always a fresh oil. I know we 
mentioned it earlier, um, let's use an old brochure. The brochure for the 1303s, 1303s, and you can see the colour coded wing beading. Like I said, didn't come in ev on every car in every colour, but there we are, there's a couple of examples there of the, the colour coded beading. Yeah. So we're lucky enough to have that on Red Ralph. 